All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be continuing the last part of the AirPod tutorial. We are going to be making the charging case. Without further ado, let's begin. So first thing, let's unhide this object that we duplicated last time. And I just want to say I messed up because as last video, um, we kind of did everything else until we realized we had to move this to the back a little bit and as you can see uh, when we duplicated this we didn't really slide it to the back so we have to fix that first okay so let's add uh, the reference image again if you have it the reference image of the airpods so shift a image reference and find the wherever you saved it okay there it is Let's scale it down to size to the appropriate size okay this roughly okay some something like this this looks good we just need the size roughly okay let's rotate it 90 de oh let's rotate it first 90 degrees and let's move it over here uh, let's hide these two first okay go to side view and move it around here where it's supposed to be you guys can remove the subdivision surface for the airpod the the part that we're going to use to boolean since we won't be using it anyways so yeah there we go okay let's go back to side view and let's move this hold on it's a little bit bigger i think okay there we go and then let's select the oh. Okay, let's select the bottom face. Okay, let's see. Control numpad plus. And let's turn on proportional edit and move it. Oh, oh no, what happened? Okay, proportional edit and we're gonna move it on the Y. Let's increase the amount that it affects. Okay. Let's keep going. Actually, let's turn off proportional edit for this one. Okay, let's move it back over here. And let's move it over here. Okay, uh, this should be good enough now. Okay, now let's really begin. So first, let's add the reference for today's video. Let's go to front view. The reference image will be in the description. Okay, so shift A, image, reference, and then the AirPod. Okay, there we go. Let's scale it down. And let's add a cube. So now let's adjust it to the pro proper size. Okay, so the width, the X will be 0 0.0443 the height which is oh the height which is the height which is this one uh it's kind of hard to see okay there it is the height is 0 0.0535 okay and the uh, in the length in the inwards thickness i guess on the y is um, 0 0.0213 okay perfect let's go to front view let's adjust the size again so that it's proportionate the proper size slide it over here boom perfect amazing <laughs> okay so first thing let's select our cube and we're gonna loop cut right here at the place where it opens up okay 
So now let's tab out of edit mode and apply the scale so that it wouldn't be such a bad bevel. Let's tab into edit mode, press A, then we're going to unselect this loop right here. So just hold Alt and Shift and you should be able to unselect it. Then we can bevel it and we're going to increase the segments to about three, I think, three, this much, around this much, okay. And then you're going to hold Shift C so that it clamps. But you don't want it to go all the way. You just want it to go out a little bit. The reason for this is because we don't want this uh, middle line right here. You see this middle line? If we go the whole way, it will be together like this and it will look very ugly. So we want it to be a little bit apart. Okay. So let's now add the ridge right here at ridge. I don't know, like the dent, I guess it goes inwards so that we can open it. Okay, let's go to X toggle X-ray. Let's toggle X-ray. And what we're going to do is we're going to loop cut right here on the line and loop cut right here on the line. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to turn Talk, turn turn off x-ray okay and then we're gonna extrude it inwards boom then we're gonna select it like this basically imagine if these three lines didn't exist and just select the rest like if it's a regular extruded inwards I guess we want to select this oh hold on these two as well then we can bevel it and the same thing, we don't want to go the whole way because we don't want it to be on top of each other. Okay, so now let's do the charging port, the part where you plug the USB-C in. Let's duplicate this and rotate it on the X by 90 degrees and on the Z by 90 degrees. Go to top view and let's move it somewhere around here. Okay, and let's move it up. Let's go to the bottom view. And now we can adjust this right here. So first, let's see right here. The bottom uh, cube, the square right here, is too small. So we're going to select it. And then let's scale it on the Y so that it's thicker. Like this. Then we're going to loop cut by two segments. Then we're going to scale it so that... Um, it's something like this. Okay. Then we can select this and extrude it in. And do the same thing we did right here. But we don't need the inner part, just the edge right here. Okay, so let's go back to bottom view to toggle x-ray. Then we can bevel. Okay, something like that should be looking good okay nice okay okay so now we can delete the reference images and there we go oh, oh hold on oh, oh no okay let's move it up a little bit and let's separate the top part and the bottom part so let's go to front view and we're just gonna crack this whole thing open so let's zoom in so that we got the whole view of the top side. Turn on X, toggle X-ray. Let's select the whole thing like this. Now you want to be very in detail right here. Something like this. Make sure it's properly selected in half, no more, no less. Because last time I did and when I tried to fill it, there was a problem. Okay. So now we're going to press P and then selection. Okay. So now let's go to the back view. Then we're going to select the cursor tool. And on this Z central line, I guess this middle, we're going to kind of add the cursor right here. Okay. Then we're going to select the top part, right click, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Then let's go back to the select box and press shift C so that we reset the origin, uh, the cursor, the, the cursor. Then we're going to select the, um, 
anything and then we're going to press the dot on the numpad the dell so that we can zoom in so now we can crack this open okay so now what we can do is we can fill it so go in here select it as a loop f so it fills this one type into edit mode select it in a loop f and it fills perfect so now we can do the boolean operation but before we do all that i want to do a few adjustments to this so that it works more it fits because if we add this technically it would just be like a it would just be like a curved edge going in here so let me use the annotate as an example the way that the airpod should go in is directly through this tube right well as this uh, as this model shows it needs to go curved like this so we want to fix that so let's do that we're gonna select this uh, edge let's go to front view and we're just gonna adjust it okay that looks good enough okay now we can move it in like this so that it fits okay let's go to top view so we can see better make sure nothing's poking out nothing's funny going on nothing funny is going on okay okay um something like this again make sure nothing funny is going on no poking out let's duplicate this and then scale it on the x by negative one and then let's move it over here actually let's move it down in a little bit okay now we can uh select this alt r make sure nothing's poking out okay let's control z so we're gonna do the bevel operation now so let's select this and add modifier boolean select this and apply make sure it works it works Okay, so like this, add modifier, boolean, this, so like this, and then apply it. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see if it works. It works. Now we're gonna select this again. Alt R to reset it. Let's toggle X ray and add a boolean modifier. And let's select this now and apply it. Same thing with the other one. Okay, let's apply it. Let's rotate it like this. And as you can see, okay, it looks pretty good. So we can delete this now and let's unhide our, these guys, <laughs> okay. So we can just simply slide it in. And overall, yeah, it fits okay then yeah there we go now for this part there's a there's supposed to be a flap so you can add that if you want let's uh slash so we focus on it okay so a simple way we can do this let's loop cut it um let's go to a vertex select so it's this and loop cut right here then we're gonna use the knife and then cut it across like this oh cut it like okay actually let's go to front view oh no okay let's go to front view so we can see everything better okay so we're gonna cut it directly upwards like this okay enter same thing over here then we're gonna do another one like this okay and another one like this okay you can tab out now and we're gonna kind of extrude it out a little bit
so that it kind of got something like this. But the important part is when you press uh, Alt R and it's not poking out through the back, and you should be good. Okay. So now we can add the subdivision surface modifier if we want to, but it really messes up the edges right here sometimes, so I don't really entirely recommend it. So all we can do now is use a shade auto smooth, because if we use a shade smooth, it will look disgusting. So shade auto smooth, shade auto smooth. Okay. So let's go to uh, material preview and we can use the same materials we used for this. So this one and we're going to use this material. So the specular one, this one, this one. And for the charger hole right here, we can select this in a loop like this. Um, let's make it. Work properly. Okay, then we can bevel it and then add a new one, uh, add the metallic one and assign it. Okay, the metallic one. Okay, and for the inner part, we can just give it the black um, material. Now there's sometimes this problem that happens for some reason it's probably some kind of boolean issue but the hole would turn black as you can see right here so sim we can simply fix this by going into edit mode pressing a and just assigning it white again okay then we can repeat this process and it should hopefully work uh, okay, okay, it works. Okay, okay. So there we go. Perfect. So now we got an AirPod. Okay, so that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There was a little issue at the beginning. Hopefully that was too much of a deal. And yeah, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.